All set. All right, we're ready and rolling. All right. Well, this is <laughs> coronavirus <laughs> inspections. <laughs> we got a special Don't wear treat a black today. Shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is the B Man J. I'm uh, I'm Chris Kinzer, owner of Kinzer Honey Farms, and uh, hopefully you're seeing this on my channel or Jay's channel. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, do a normal inspection, but with a little twist today, we're going to have it uh, with COVID-19. So, anyway, we'll get to it. I have wax my supper in case anybody's wondering. He can't even get his bee jacket out. And, and Jay here is actually an actor. <laughs> so, I expect a big performance out of him. <laughs> Especially if the bees get after him. <laughs> oh. nah, we won't have that problem. And we'll, and we'll explain what we're doing as we're doing it. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I've got some empty, empty nuke boxes, and to help maintain our, our space, I'm going to set one of those up, and I'm going to check a hive and put the frames in. That, Jay needs to look at two frames of brood. I'll bring the two frames, one at a time, set them in the box, and then stay out of the way. That way we can kind of keep our distance. Good for you? Sure. Might want to move it in a little bit for uh, camera view. All right. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna start on the far end. And just work my way towards So usually when we're doing inspections, Chris will be on one side of the hive. I'll either be beside him or I will be in front of the hives. And I just keep moving. I don't stay long enough that the bees are going to be blocked up. Once I realize I'm hearing some buzzing, I move to the side, I let the bees all come back home, and now I'll move back over. Some yards are not as well set up as like this, and there's not much room for me to stand behind the hive with the beekeeper. Or they have a, uh, a tray or a uh, table that they're moving with them, and it's hard to hand the frame over the table with all the other boxes that they're pulling off. So he pulled off the feeder. He's got a deep and two mediums there. He's looking for uh, capped, uncapped, anywhere from egg all the way to uh, merging brood. That way I can look for uh, sack brood, chalk brood, European, American, um, all the different types of viruses. Some of them are not very easy to spot out here and tell you this is the exact same or this is the virus that you're looking at or the disease but you know you can tell if it's healthier or sick and they can do treatments from that so he's already removed two of the boxes gone down even further to find that brood frame for me and as a state inspector here in Tennessee I'm looking for two frames um, I let everybody pull their frames out. I don't roll the queen. If they kill their queen, it's on them, not on me. Uh, it could get expensive for the state if I'm always uh, replacing queens. It looks like he's got at least one. Definitely a lot of cat brood on there. Usually a good frame. Show them. All right. So when scanning, I scan back and forth as I'm looking. And it seems to be a lot of uh, cat brood. Don't really see too much open on this side. Flip it around. There is 
nothing here. There's a little bit of open screws along the edge here. Some big old fat drones, you can grab them very easily. And check them. Let's see how well we can pick up. So here, there's a little bit of open, a little bit of open brood, and it's getting smaller. About five or six day old in there. These are older. They're bigger. Capping, and you see all the spottiness where they just didn't go back and lay. They could have already emerged. And for some reason the bees did not like these cells here and they just filled them in. There's a emergency cell, it's empty. There's another one right there. Big old fat drone getting fed. I think I got eggs in here, but I just realized that my cheaters are not where they're supposed to be on my face. Uh oh. <laughs> For all the old people out there, where are your cheaters? <laughs> So you got that little bit of a burr comb. That one looks fine. You can play with it because it's going to die. Here's much better open larva. Got some pollen right there. That cell doesn't look too bad. This open cell is not American fall brood. It's they're still closing it. Frame this yeah, that side's good. And some pollen filled in here. Larva going by. Jay, Everything looks good frame. there. No, we're good. You can put that one back. As soon as I hand you this, we'll be done. Nice uh, bee bridge there. Some more over here. Some pollen. They bring it in. Swing it around. It's upside down. And everything is looking good there. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Nope, just the shine. Because I'm holding it off angle so you guys can see it. Just some shine. There's a little bit of pollen in there that they're bringing in. It's in clumps still. They haven't packed it. And an emerging worker right there. These girls are talking a little bit. Here comes the head. And slowly getting out. She's using a lot of energy. The girl's checking her out and she's out. First thing, spread the wings. Get wide open and flex. Alright. I'm done playing. Put this up real quick and then we'll wrap up our video. Alright, so Chris putting the frames away. That's all it really took for a bee inspection on each hive. Some beekeepers move a little slower than others, some move faster. Uh, Chris has a good speed. Uh, notice there's not a whole lot of bees in the air, he's moving uh, efficiently. So therefore, you know, you're not getting the bees stirred up, they're not getting mad because we have still have to go through this yard and then we have a, uh, two other spots that he's got. So, pretty easy, pretty simple, and just if there was okay. anything bad looking, so, we showed it. Jay is a state inspector with the state of Tennessee. I'm a local inspector. Now, if you need to move bees, you probably should call, actually move back a little bit, I'll see in the frame. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you need to um, just move a few bees, you should call your local inspector, like me. If you have um, a real problem, like you suspect American fowl brood, then you need to call Jay. Or if you're a queen breeder, such as myself, then you have to call Jay. Um, right. And what else, Jay? What's the or other? Mike. Huh? Mike Studer. 
Or Mike Stoner, yes. He's a state apron golfer. So, anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot. And uh, we got a few more bees to uh, attend to.